Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. The new 2015 Field Employee Safety Handbook is edited by the NEI Safety Committee to include the most up-to-date safety procedures for protection of field employees on every construction site or maintenance job. Order your copy at elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for July 22, 2016. In today's news, Mitsubishi Elevator inaugurates a plant in India. An artistic residential tower is almost complete in Brooklyn. And a housing complexes in Connecticut receive new elevators. Various news outlets, including the Business Standard, report that Mitsubishi Ele- Elevator India inaugurated a 25,400 square meter plant in Vemgal, India, near Bengaluru, on July 19th. It is the company's 14th manufacturing facility worldwide and promises to dramatically increase its domestic sales from some 1,100 elevators last year to one and a half times that in 2017 to 2018, according to a Mitsubishi representative. With a focus on the Nexia's light elevator line for low to mid-rise buildings, the plant is expected to start producing in December and reached first phase annual capacity of 5,000 units in four to five years. DZine reports a 32-story residential tower clad in a reflective silvery metal skin and designed by Enrique Norton of Tin Architectos is all but complete in the Fort Greene district of Brooklyn, New York. Residents of 300 Ashland are expected to start moving in by the end of the summer. Two Trees Management is the developer of the project, which features glass balconies, more than 350 apartments, 43,000 square feet of retail, and 50,000 square feet for a dance studio, library, art museum, and cinema. The New Haven Register reports that on July 19th, public officials and residents of a pair of public housing complexes in New Haven, Connecticut, welcomed a long-overdue elevator overhaul. The elevators in the complexes, home to more than 360 people, had been broken for approximately six months in the wake of of a corruption scandal involving the previous housing authority leader. The 1.16 million US dollar renovation fixed some elevators that were more than 20 years old. For more industry related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.